Welcome to the Super Ultra Mega Fun Zone. Round one is team-based jam action in the dogleg bowl with the cradle and the funky ass hit. Woohoo, hit it. Skate three, uh, for me, I super stoked because it's a logical progression of where our game really should be going. You get discovered, done it. You have a comeback, you done it. Now you're a legend. What's left to do in skateboarding? The story of the game is it, it continues on from where we left off in Skate 2. Aretta phones you up and says the next step is starting your own brand and trying to sell your own product throughout the city. As you sell boards, you get the right to sign more and more teammates. And as you get these guys, the goal is to get them more and more coverage. And ultimately your goal is to sell a million boards in the game. Does that make sense? Everyone get that? You all get it? Everyone at home? Understand? Yo, dude! I'm back here in this office busting my butt. Make sure you get out there and get some coverage so we can sling these boards, baby. Aight? Peace. You got your career, you got your single player, that's about the skater that you created and the team that he forms around him. It's you and AI skaters that you are completing challenges with. You can create them, or you can actually get your friend's character to come and be on your team. I don't know of any other games that kind of do that, where my friend's character actually takes shape and takes form in the world. You pick a team brand at the beginning of the logo for your team, and that brand is how your team is identified. You really make the city become alive with your brand. The other day I was skating around the world, I noticed these stickers just started coming up. Skated further down the street. There's this one row of big banners. And I was like, whoa, that guy looks, oh, that's my team. Sight. Gives me a reason to go back, play challenges again, and create the skater that I really want it to look like because that's my team up there. You know, I might as well look cool rather than looking lame, you know. <laughs> As you become more popular, you earn the ability to unlock your own skate park, your team headquarters, so to speak. Man, this team HQ is tight. It's so massive. Dude, we could rebuild the entire park if we wanted to. The majority of challenges in our game, players can go online and play with other players, their friends, or their teammates. There may be a challenge that's difficult for you. You may have a contest. You're like, I, I don't, I'm not good at skating bowls. I'm always getting third place or something like that. Sometimes games let you co-op, but you don't get credit back out to your game for having completed that challenge. We said, no, no, bring your friend in. He gets credit for it in his single player experience, and I get credit for it in mine. Being able to finally get your friends more engaged in your career experience or being able to play it together is huge. It's going to change gaming for the future. Yes, I said it. <laughs>